everybody, Chibi here with Entropic Gaming, and welcome back to Hotful Boyfriend. Now, last time we were playing, and where'd that come from? Did I say? Okay. Last time we were getting closer to Sakuya, and got invited to the Christmas party, and then threw Okosan out into the street. You know. Nothing really bad, nothing really extravagant, I suppose. So, let's get going. It's cold. It feels even colder than it was around New Year's. Maybe the wind's stronger. I'm starting to think I should build a wall, or maybe dig myself a new bedroom. With this kind of weather, some birds are even collapsing in the street. Hey, wait. Isn't that one Sakuya? S Sakuya, what's wrong? Don't ask for the details. Just carry me to your miserable boat. I beg of you. Wandering around and collapsing in the street at this time of night doesn't seem like customary practice for an aristocrat. What's happened, Sakuya? Don't tell me your family has fallen from high society. What happened? I shall not say. Eh? What were you doing wandering around in the wilderness, then? I was not wandering. I was on my way here. Be honored. Oh, so this wasn't isn't a coincidence after all. Did you want something from me then? No, don't flatter yourself. Eh? Um, should we call your family or something? No. Eh? He looks really angry. Listen, don't you dare. Don't you dare call my house. Sakuya, did you run away from home? That sounds bad. No, I simply left of my own volition. Um, isn't that the same thing? Da da da. Yep. What happened, Sakuya? <sighs> Tenbrook, do you remember when we talked in the music room at school last fall? Yes. What about it? Do you remember what I asked you then? You asked me what? I loved. You asked me what I loved. That's right. And you gave a simple, honest answer right away. And that... That... That made me jealous. Did I miss here? That's the last thing I'd have expected from him, of all people. I don't understand, Sakuya. Why? I... I'm one of the few, of the pure bloodline. I am ranked higher than any of my siblings. I have been slated to become the next family head since birth. There's no reason I shouldn't be. But... You don't want to take your father's place? How did you know that? It's obvious. It's written all over your face. I love music. But my father does not approve. When I was young, I owned a number of instruments. But he had them all thrown away. Art is not our realm. The joy of creation is the domain of peasants. Our role is to be patrons and promoters of the artists we admire, not to be artists ourselves. A noble who sows his own wheat is a fool. That's not true. I think anyone who can play music should be encouraged, no matter who their parents are. That is because you think with a peasant's values. My world is different from yours. I'm not talking about what peasants think. I'm talking about what I think. What about you, Sakuya? What do you think? What do I think? You speak in riddles. I carry the name of LaBelle. To play at applying my own standards and ideas to the world would be a disgrace. But didn't you just say you left the mansion of your own accord? Isn't that applying your own idea to the world? Um, You've contradicted yourself. What do you want to do in life, Sakuya? I must succeed my father as the next family head. No, jeez, that's not what I meant. What if you could forget about the LaBelle family and do anything in the world? What would you do then? Forget about the LaBelle family? What mockery is this? We're speaking hypothetically, dummy. Yeah, no shit, you're a dummy right now. If I could do anything in the world, I would continue studying music. I would like to see how far I could go as a musician. He sounds uncharacteristically modest. I was half expecting him to give some rambling speech about how he would unite the world and become king or something. 
You love music, don't you? If I could hear you play the piano again, I would be very happy, Sakuya. I think you've answered your own question. Answered my own question? Don't be ridiculous! This is a mere fantasy. It has no connection to reality. Have you told your father that you want to continue studying music? Don't be ridiculous. How could I lower myself to so? So you haven't even asked him about it. You wouldn't be lowering yourself, Sakuya. Are you ashamed to love music? Hmm. You should ask him. It's worth a try, right? Dot, 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 dot. Perhaps you are right. I suppose I never would have thought of that if I hadn't talked to you. You were confused about what you wanted, Sakuya. I just gave you a little push. It's Enbrook. Yes? I'm going to speak with him when I return. If he refuses, would... Would you carry my fallen body to safety one more time? Are you planning to run away for real next time? If it comes to that... I will follow you anywhere you need to go, Sakuya. You will always have a safe place here, okay? I shall return to you. Thank you, Tenbrook. And so he set out across the wilderness once more. I don't know if his father will accept him or if he really will run away. But I know he will come back to me. And I pray that our future will be a happy one. Aww. Do I think that Oh, no. Wake up! It's morning, Sakuya! Silence! The hall of your father's as many lumps and sharp rocks, Tenbrook. Jeez, what are you complaining about? I even got you some straw. Which is to say, I did the best I could for a freeloader. Here, I made breakfast. Your first concert is today, so you need to get ready. Hmm. You didn't complain about the food. That's an improvement. Um, by the way... What is it? Have you contacted Yuya? You must be joking. I thought so. I have his address. Should I tell him about you? We need not worry about him. I have no intention of asking favors of him. I didn't mean... Anyway, let it be. Things are fine as they are. I guess he's still a little chilly about you, yeah. Maybe it's still too early. Let us go, Tunbrook. Okay! To Shirelin. Salutations! I trust you are well. A little bird told me you've been taking care of Sakuya. He's a pain, but I know you'll be able to handle him just fine. I have something to tell him. Something very important. Something I've been meaning to tell him his entire life. Since you're... well, I guess I'm still a little unsure myself. If he ever says he wants to see me, I'll think it over. I think that's you yet, sending the letter. When that time comes, let me know, okay? I'll keep in touch. Adieu! Sakazaki Yuya. Oh, so it was from Yuya. And that's the end of the Sakuya run. Had I just continued a little bit further, I probably would have finished it last episode and we could have started a new path this time. Ah oh well. Still lots more to do. Ending 3, Song of the Foolish Bird. So that means there's at least two others I didn't get before that. Gallery. So is that going to be in the gallery? Yep. Wait, if that's three, does that mean there's something else? Hmm. And anything in the archive? Oh, yeah, there is. The intelligence agent. We have chosen to let the Dove Party agent who has infiltrated the school operate freely for the time being. A number of incoming students have proven to be quite fascinating. If possible, please examine the details in the attached documents. I do not think they will oppose me. And it looks like control the evolve from no longer under con something? Huh. I wonder what that's about. So who should we go after this time? No, let's go after Ryota. Because he's the first person we meet, and he's been a long-time friend. Welcome to St. Pink Nations. Let's go with... Shirelin. Tenbrook. Is Shirelin Tenbrook okay? Yes. 
Powerful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Yes. Configuration saved. Now don't worry guys, I just I discovered that there is a fast forward button. So we don't have to go through this whole introductory thing again. Click. Ryota! Nanaki! Sakuya! Click. Nageki! I mean, we could go after Yuya, but... I want to go after uh, Ryota this time around. Click. You still freak me out. Hello, Oko-san. Student Council, why not? Today's an elective. Let's go with... I don't think there's anything special for Ryota that we need, I don't think. So let's go with math class today. Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyways. I feel smarter already. Sherilyn leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Yay! Pretty sure I wanted to join. Da 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 da. You came here to take a job like that? Unacceptable. Where is your ambition? Are you testing yourself? You've got more backbone than that. I'm then vice president? Very well. And so I was inflicted with vice presidency. There isn't anybody else on the council, is there? No, I don't think there is. Ah, uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Ah, this tomorrow is the class hike. Let's go talk to Ryota. Ryota, let's eat together. Sure, great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch, Sherilyn? Yep, it's calorie me dash dash me uh, e something. That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryota. And so I got to eat half of Ryota's lunch. His cooking is so good. We can save the calorie M-E in case of a survival situation. Today's an elective day. Let's go with gym class this time. It's too hot. I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. It is rehydration time! Oko-san wants to go swimming! Okay. Charlene leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Imagine you're all aware. And if I remember from last time, Ryota's doing the three-legged race, so that's what we're going to be doing next time. Never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the three-legged race. Oh, are you joining us? Want to run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Get set. Go! Ryota's running for both of us. Pairing up a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyways, though. We have brought honor to our class. First bear midterm. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the cafeteria. I think I I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. Excuse me, one half dead fried rice, please. Yum, my favorite. No, this is wrong! A fake! A vicious lie! A familiar voice indeed. This is not pudding! 
I know, you said. So come on, let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. San saw the pudding here and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but... Ow! Cut it out, Okasan! Release me at once! My rage voltage is rising! Help me, Charlin! Um... Leave it to me! Leave it to me, Ryota! My hunter-gatherer blood boils! Ah! No! The Beast Queen has shows her true colors! Pull out! Pull out! Okasan rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. What? Ah, safe at last. Thanks, Charlin. No problem. All I did was shout at him anyway. Apparently that was enough. <sighs> now we can all eat without fear of disaster. True enough. Today is an elective day. Let's uh, attend music class. We all have to stand up and sing solos today. Ah, I'm nervous. Coo 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 coo. This voice is beautiful. Charlin leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Yay! Today is Tan Abata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? May mother stay healthy this year, and may my stomach get better. Ryota. I like how his symbol is this four-leaf clover. That's really nice. What should I wish for? Mm, I'm not sure. Let's go with that one. Because first choice. I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fist. Oh, hello. Is that you, Tunbrook? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um, nah. We're strong and independent. If you'll let me click. Come on. Thank you. No, thank you. I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Wasn't the key mania something or other public playtest starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. Today's an elective day. Let's go with math class again. Sir, how integral, integral calculus have helped us in life? Hmm, hard to say. Might never help you at all, Tenbrook. But only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. Integral, integral. Calculus is educational candy? I'm not prepared to accept this. Sherilyn leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Yay! We're in a different room for next period, right? Barely two hours into the day and I'm already hungry. Ah, I can't bear this. Ryota, we're in the textile room next, right? Let's walk together. Uh, sure. Huh? That was an awfully unenthusiastic response. Um, you don't look too good. Are you okay, Ryota? I I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go. Ugh. You're not fine. Yeah, it's my stomach. This happens all the time. It's nothing to worry about. I'll just go to the infirmary for a bit. Could you let the teacher know, please? Or, did that say Plea? Looks like someone forgot the ass on that one. Can you make it there on your own? Yeah, I can. Thanks. I'll see you in a bit. Ryota. He never showed up for third period. Or fourth. Is he still in the infirmary? I'll go check on him after I eat lunch. A Charlene marches on her stomach, after all. R Ryota? Oh, hello. Are you okay? You look even worse than you did earlier. I'm... Fine. Sitting around just makes it worse. I got some medicine from the doctor, but I'm not convinced that medicine is doing him any good. I wouldn't trust anything that doctor prescribed. Something's wrong if you go to the infirmary feeling sick and go home feeling worse. 
Wait a minute, Ryota. I'm going to give that doctor a piece of my mind. Oh, wait, Sherilyn. It's not his fault. I just have a weak stomach. I'm going to... Go yell at the doctor. That has nothing to do with it. I'll be back in a minute. Doctor! Doctor Iwamine? Barging in the door and shouting for the doctor's hardly accepted practice. Shall I prepare a sedative for you? No, thank you. I want to talk to you about Ryota. Ryota? Oh, Mr. Kawara. He left some time ago. He rested here for two hours and wasn't any better for it. You did something to him, didn't you? Or wouldn't it have been worse to do nothing to him? Doing things to people is my job, after all. Well, yes, but... I mean, something unnecessary. I'm afraid I can't respond to complaints with no evidence. I examined his condition and provided him with the appropriate medicine. Beyond that, it's all down to how quickly his body recovers. You can't possibly be holding me responsible for his unhealthy nature, can you? Ah! He's probably right. He doesn't have anything to do with Ryota's weak body. If you did something to him, please do send in a complaint. After you find evidence, of course. An evil smile flickers across his face for a moment and is gone. He did something to Ryota, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Don't like him. Got our finals back today! Yay! Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems... Okay, this is the cleaning one, isn't it? You help too. Easy to fall out of... Yeah, this is the Azami scene, isn't it? Dink, dink, dink. Still wondering about those broken uh, skyscrapers, though. Butter, 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 butter. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll get a job. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was a cafe, right? Oh, cute. It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Hmm, what kind of voice would you get? Uh, pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at noon... Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds are there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Uh, forgive me. I'm called Urashihara Kenzaburo. I'm the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Tenbrook Shireland. Welcome, Miss Shireland. I hadn't expected a human. Are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to say such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for this summer then, Miss Shireland. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow, then, Miss Shireland. Today is my first day of work at Mr. Urashihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Shireland. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me about the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my how... 
Excuse me. Oh, Riata. Um, I saw a flyer at the station and... Riata? Charlotte? What are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Charlotte? Oh, yes. This is Riota. You came for the job too, Riota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. Oh, but if you've already got the position, then that's that. Mm. Um, Mr. Urashihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... let's... give Ryota the job. And Mr. Urashihara, do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Shirelin? I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the job, but Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Shirelin? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day too, but... Ryota works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Mr. Urashihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryota. I... <sighs> thanks, Charlotte. Well then. Our encounter has been as transient as a comet's, comet's trail on the horizon, but I am glad I met you. Please, do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Charlotte. I will. Thank you, Mr. Urashihara. That is rolling off the tongue far easier than it should. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite... Gee, I wonder who. Ryota. Oh, thanks for inviting me, Shireland. Come on, let's go. So many booths. So how are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter-gatherer instincts, Shireland. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. What? No fair. I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. Hmm. Yakitori sounds good right about now. Huh? And so I spent a happy evening with Ryota. Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some Yakitori. I have no idea what Yakitori is. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have got I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too this is the one with that one. So click Return to my glorious abode. Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I first return to my people with the spoils of war, lay my bloodied sword at the feet of my great king, and celebrate my conquest of all the lands from here to distant Macedonia. Still going what about that one? Oh, have fun. That one's still weird. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope you guys had a fun summer. Blah, 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 blah. Second term! Oh, and this is the one with the ID. Today's an elective. So let's... I think it was gym class was going to be the next one because we took math class last time. Today is volleyball day. Take this! Okosan smash! How about you? <laughs> Charlene leveled up. Vitality increased by 5. How did I get to 825 then? If I was at 800 start... Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, that was a productive day. Time to go home and indulge in idleness and debauchery. Hey, Charlene? Ryota, what's up? Wanna walk home together? Though if you're going somewhere else... I... Would love to. The sun's going down already. I guess it's fall now. The most elegant of seasons. Hey, look, a swallow. The most elegant of birds. Oh, there's its nest. We're supposed to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess all birds are changing now. I guess so. The chicks are really small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Me too. Thank you, Charlene. When I was young, I found Ryota freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest. Doves breed all year round. No wonder they're everywhere. That was how we met, right? When I found you plopping around in the dirt and carried you back to, up to your nest. <laughs> That's mean! Thinking about it, I, if I hadn't walked by then, you'd be dead. 
though you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Y yeah, thank you, Sharlin. If you hadn't found me then, I wouldn't be here now. I remember it as if it were yesterday. Ever since, I've always loved your kindness and monkey tree climbing jeans. <laughs> You're just the same as you were then. Never change, okay? <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, that's all the time we've got for t this time around, so... That was interesting. That was for sure. Ryota seems like he's a really sweet little rock dove, so... Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!